So for this question, it's a simple question. Describe what is meant by food chain and food web. And straight away we know from this particular question that there are two going to be two parts. First of all, we have to talk about food chain. Then we have to talk about food webs. And after you've listened to a few of my videos, you'll realize that I'm a very, very all about um, defining things. So the first thing we're going to do is define a food chain. And what a food chain is, is that it displays the transfer of nutrients and energy from one trophic level to another. And um, trophic level is another terminology, or another set, or another phrase rather, that we will need to define, but we'll talk about that in a different uh, instance. So after defining it, then the best way to illustrate that you know what the topic is talking about is to give an example. And I'm going to give this simple four-chained uh, food chain, and we'll go from a producer to a primary consumer to a secondary consumer, and finally to the tertiary consumer. And make sure that when you draw these food chains, that you be very specific with the uh, with the creature or animal that you that you put in. It's not good enough to just say insect, for example. They want something a bit more specific. Okay, so we talked about food chain, really easy to do. Now let's talk about food web. What is the definition of a food web? Well, it's the interaction of multiple food chains. So uh, I'm sure you've seen a food chain in your textbooks before, and it's a bit more complicated than um, what a food chain is. Once again, give an example so that they really understand um, that you understand what the topic is. And for food web, you want to first do your producers at the bottom. Um, in this case, we've got grass, moss, and shrubs. And you want to have multiple different producers. Make sure that you do that. Then at the top, you want to have multiple consumers. And then these consumers can be both primary and secondary consumers at the same time. For example, a mouse is a primary consumer because it, in this case it eats moss and grass, but it's also a, um, a secondary consumer because it eats the beetle. And just draw these up so then you have about two, three or four different chains uh, which are interlinking to make a food web.